Welcome to the full moon meditation for Saturday, December 19th of 2021. It's our final lunation for the year of 2021. We're ready to send this year packing. And I am Martin Dowman. And I'm Sunny Dowman. And we're still here in the desert southwest um, and bringing you this, this lovely meditation for this final lunation of the year. The, the moon will be full at 10.35 p.m. in the central time zone of the United States. If you're in a different place, please do the math. <laughs> um, and so we probably want to talk a little bit about the astrology, the weather, the astro weather, so to speak. Um, the, the big the big story is Venus. Venus is about to go retrograde. And so if you're kind of astrology adjacent, you probably hear a lot about Mercury retrogrades. Um, but most of the other planets go retrograde as well. And this is Venus's turn. Venus goes retrograde. It, ha it has a really interesting pattern, which I'm not going to try to explain, but you can Google it if you're really interested. The, the interesting thing about Venus retrogrades is that eight years ago, almost to the day, December 21st of 2013, Venus went retrograde in almost this exact same spot. And it, it does it. It has this interesting little pattern. Venus retrogrades are about 40 days long. So the 40 days and 40 nights in the Bible a lot of astrologers, th astrologers think that comes from the pattern of Venus retrogrades. So the best way to be able to kind of predict or, or, you know, think about meditate on what this retrograde period is going to be for you is to look back in your own history, look back to 2013 and the beginning of 2014, what was going on in your life. Um, you know, some people will be like, oh, well, I was, I got married or I was, you know, arguing with my boss or whatever. And those kinds of things are going to be, it, it won't be exactly the same, but it oftentimes is a variation on the theme just eight years later. So, um, and if you know where Capricorn is in your chart, what house that inhabits, you can expect kind of a, a, a revision, a re, um, re-evaluation, especially in terms of relationship, Venus, in that area of your life. So, you know, this is a good time to look at your own chart and go, well, where is Capricorn? What, what part of, of my life does Capricorn rule? If you need help with that, you can contact me and we'll talk more about that later. Um, the other thing that's going on, so, so with Venus retrograding, Venus has just um, come up and made, formed a conjunction with the planet Pluto. This is generally a pretty lovely aspect. It's, you know, very ah, nice, you know, and sweet. Um, when Venus retrogrades, it's going to go back over Pluto again and sort of, so we may have the same the same issues, but in a little bit different way, a little different twist. And then it will back up for those 40 days and then come back over Pluto again. Um, so we may feel a little bit like we're in Groundhog Day um, with, I thought I did this. I thought I dealt with this. I thought, you know, but that's just kind of the nature of these things. So, um, so in terms of relationship, in terms of the way that we nurture and care for ourselves and others, um, we can expect, you know, some, some, maybe some rejiggering of some of these things. In addition, you're probably going to get tired of hearing me say this because it's a feature for a while. It's really a bug. Um, <laughs> Saturn is still squaring Uranus. And so that tension and resistance between the, the 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 structure the traditional the this is the thing that we've built and we like it and we don't want it to change and the forces that say no 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 we need to change this desperately though that 
will still be continuing and you know it's going to but it may be in this time frame it may be a little more of an undercurrent rather than what's on the the forefront of everybody's mind we just like with the holidays we may be like let's put that on the back on the back burner until after the after the new year let's you know have some peace some pleasure some joy which would be very consistent with the pluto venus conjunctions in addition as you might be able to tell this is a gemini moon gemini is chatty <laughs> and likes to you know likes to elucidate their their thoughts and so um, this is a great time to have a have a nice friendly warm sit down conversation with people and um, you know and 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 share your thoughts share your experiences so let's start our meditation shall we absolutely so to begin this meditation I'll just have you close your eyes if you feel comfortable with that allow yourself to connect in with the ground and be aware of this wonderful planet that we are on and feel its vibration its love its light and the connection with it feel that relaxation as we take a deep breath into our belly and release and as we go into this meditation we acknowledge the power that is this process of uh, taking time out to connect deeply with what's going on with the moon within ourselves within the people that are around us and acknowledging all of that and so to begin we we connect as if we have roots coming out of the bottom of our feet and going right into the earth finding the connection the energy the the growing potential that the earth gives us in that connection and as we allow this energy to flow up through our feet we are going to be bringing this right up through the body and supporting each level of our process that we are always in and so with that we'll take a breath in as we draw up this energy from the earth so in feel that rise up through your legs all the way up to the base of your spine at the root chakra the root chakra is connected and grounding us and so as we are rising up to that root chakra we see this as the grounding and we also are aware that it is ruled by Mars that self that we are the the piece of us being here right now and having that connection of the Mars energy and as we move up from the root chakra we move to the sacral chakra by breathing into the belly and the sacral chakra 
is ruled by Venus. And that power of, of compassion, of love, of connection, of creation. We acknowledge that and we feel that power that we've been drawing up from the earth, moving up to the next level, which is the solar plexus just below the rib cage. It is the power of the sun. It is the, the light, the awareness. It is us being able to know that we are conscious of that intuition. It is that inner knowing that we have. And the light is being shown on whatever it is that's going on from this position. And now we take that with another breath in. Up to the heart chakra. And the heart chakra is the moon. It is ruled by that. And the moon is about our emotions, our connections, our feelings of how we are and connect with others. It is going to be a full moon that we are in. And so we acknowledge the reflected light from that moon in this moment. And then we move from the heart to the throat chakra with a deep breath in the belly. And drawing that energy up, we awaken to the concept of Mercury, which is communication. And it works right from this throat chakra. It is the voice that we speak into and communicate with. And we feel that energy of that connection of the communication as we empower that at this time. And then from there, we move to the third eye. So let's breathe in again and draw that energy up. And the third eye is right in the center of the head, sometimes placed between the eyebrows, maybe in your process. You can see it in alignment with all the other chakras. And we also realize this is Saturn. This is the order, the being able to, to see with right eyes how things should be in what order. And if we hold that experience for a moment, we can see the order that has passed and also that which is coming. And then as the final chakra is the crown chakra, we will breathe in deeply into our bellies again. And this is the connection with the divine. It is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is 
a blessing to this process. It is the awakening, the expansion up above the head. It is that connection with the process of the divine, of the universe. And it is bright and powerful in its process. And so now we'll take a breath all the way from the ground into our, into our heart where the moon is. And then we'll release it up through the crown chakra. So breathing in from the ground. holding it for a moment and then releasing straight up over the top. And now we feel the energies of our guides, our ancestors, the indigenous who have been here before us in whatever land we are on. We acknowledge their presence. We acknowledge their light. We acknowledge that they too have been connected with all of these energies. We call in the Ascended Masters we allow ourselves to pause for a moment in the, in the stewing of this process of holding all of these energies together and acknowledging each one, giving them the space to surround and support us. And so I take just this moment for us to pause and hold that space. And so we continue breathing, noticing the breath as it comes into our bodies and fills our bodies with air and space and warmth and light and noticing as we release the breath. And feeling our connection to all of life around us. And as we consider the Venus retrograde period that we're moving into. We consider how we are caring for ourselves, how we are nurturing ourselves. Even if we are in a relationship, it is, it is good, it is a good practice to know and to care for ourselves and not rely on others or one other to do that for us. And so I am going to invite you on this journey of self-nurturing. And we consider the ways that we nurture ourselves When we, when we encounter a brand new baby, a young baby, we think of cradling that child in our arms and holding that child close to us, snuggling in a little bit, getting some of that new baby smell. And isn't it a lovely idea to hold ourselves in that way? obviously not physically, but 
in in spirit grabbing a hold of our of our little infant self and bringing that self in close holding ourselves we might even wrap our arms around ourselves in this moment in this meditation and just feel ourselves held and nurtured and loved we continue breathing into that and welcoming the loving nurture of ourselves And you can release your arms if you like. You can keep them there if you like. As we consider other ways that we care for ourselves with, with food. Are we eating well? Are we taking good care of our bodies that way? How about comfort and warmth? Maybe making a point later today or whenever of wrapping up in a beautiful soft blanket, having a cup of tea, doing something to nurture and care for ourselves. The more we can fill our own cup that way, the less we have to go out into the world and seek for other people to do it for us. It's not about being alone or being lonely. It's about knowing that I care for myself. I am my best friend. I am always with me and I am always on my own side. I am releasing self-sabotage. I am releasing questioning myself. I am releasing the ways that I negate my own experience and I am moving on to my own side. And then I surround myself in the physical world with people who are also on my side. And if someone is not on my side, I am able to notice that and question that and reevaluate is that a person that i need to keep in my life is that a person that i need to keep so close to my heart or should i move them a little bit farther away should i put a little fence between me and that energy do i deserve to be treated the way that person treats me. And even if I don't want to abandon any relationships, I can recognize that this person, need, there needs to be a little boundary between us. There needs to be a little space, a little gap so that I can continue to care for myself and nurture myself in my own space. And if that person needs to, if that relationship needs to go, then I bless them on their way. The full moon is also about release. And sometimes it's when something has completed and brought the lessons that it's brought, 
it's a good thing to let go and release so that we can bring new into our lives. And this period between the full moon and going to the new moon is about letting go, let go of things, let go of resentments, let go of anger, let go of things that are not working for me anymore. And then when the new moon comes around, I can bring in new energies that do feed me and do uplift me. But without doing the releasing first, we don't have any room for the new. Hmm. So we, we recognize and we acknowledge first of all that we are, we are on our side. We are important. We are worthy of love. And we are capable of loving ourselves and meeting our own needs. And then when we come to other people, we are not coming from a place of deficit. We're not coming from a, a place of, oh, please love me. Please care for me because no one else will, including myself. When we are filling up our own, our own cup, we can come into relationship with other people from a sense of wholeness. Doesn't that feel nice? <sighs> and so I would invite us to breathe into this notion to maybe place our hand over our heart. Breathe into that. Breathe into our heart. And release. <sighs> Knowing that ultimately I am the steward of this heart. I am the one who cares the most for this heart. I am responsible for my heart and I protect my heart from those who may not have my best interests at heart and open my heart to those who do show me that they love me and care about me. because first and foremost, I love and care about myself. And so let's just mentally lean back into a big fluffy cloud and float on that awareness that I love and care for myself. I am worthy of love and nurture. I am beautiful. And I can feel myself floating on that cloud high above the earth, nurtured, held, protected, safe.
And so let's, let's carry this notion into our toning where we use the vibration of sound and where we invite people to join in with their own vibration of sound to help ground this message into our bodies, into our reality of I am safe, I am loved, I love myself. And so as we prepare to do this, the reminder is the same as always. It, there is no particular tone. This does not even need to sound good. It's about creating a vibration. And that vibration, we can put our hands on our chest, we can put our hands on our jaw and feel that vibration happening. And so I would invite you to take a nice deep breath and let's get started. Um, oh. Let's do that again. And so as we prepare to return from our lovely white puffy cloud into this life that we have fashioned for ourselves, I invite you to just deepen your breath. Maybe wiggle fingers or toes. Maybe move your head around on your neck just a little bit to bring your awareness back to your body and back to this physical plane. And when you're ready, if you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes. The next lunation, which is going to be a new moon, is going to be on January 2nd this year. So um, right at the very beginning, right after, you know, have have New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and then a, a new moon. So we'll be, we'll be on the stick, um, ready to go. So we will post a meditation for that at that point. So if you've enjoyed the process of the astrology and you're looking for a deeper connection to your own personal experience, feel free to go to sunnysastrology.com and connect in with Sunny and find that connection to a deeper understanding of who you are or where things are for you right now and maybe to support your processes. Happy Holidays! whatever holidays you celebrate, and <laughs> Namaste. Namaste.